Big 12 fans, what's up, what's good? I'm Aaron Pryor, back again for your weekly installment of Around the Rim. This week, we start 56 miles west of Morgantown in the town of Cameron, West Virginia. It's tiny, only 900 to 1,000 people in population, only about 0.87 square miles. Ironically, it's the hometown of the tallest player on the West Virginia men's basketball roster, Logan Rout. Originally from the Florida Panhandle, Logan and his family moved to West Virginia when he was in the eighth grade. Now, there are fewer than two million people in the state of West Virginia, yet Logan was relatively unknown as a basketball player. And yeah, at Cameron High School, Rout stood out, but at the time, it wasn't as a basketball player. Uh, this lady walks up to me and she's eyeball to eyeball with me. And I'm legit 6'4", you know? I'm not like some of these guys that are 6'1", say they're 6'4". I am legitimately 6'4". And she's eyeball to eyeball with me. And she said, why aren't you recruiting my nephew? Who's your nephew? She said, well, he's seven foot. I said, seven foot? Does he play basketball? She said, yeah, during basketball season, he's playing quarterback now. I'm like, you're kidding me. She said, no. So we talked a little bit about it. And then the next thing I know, he's on the SPN as the tallest quarterback in the country. Towering over all other students and players around him, Logan was a three-sport athlete at Cameron High School as a football, basketball, and baseball player. Now, you might be thinking, well, he's a basketball player that just happened to play every other sport. And it's actually the other way around. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even start playing basketball really until I was a freshman. So, like, I grew up playing baseball my whole life year round. I didn't even start playing football until I was a freshman. So I was baseball as much as I could until freshman year of high school. Then I pick up football and basketball and I excel in those a little bit. So, I mean, I was like, the basketball camps were during football and baseball season. So, you know, like I'm doing other things. I'm really not thinking about basketball season until first practice starts. A lot of our guys didn't grow up the way Logan and I grew up. You know, you play basketball during basketball season, football during football season, baseball during baseball season, you know, and then you just turn around and do it all over again. After that initial conversation between Coach Huggins and Logan's relative at a speaking engagement, Coach Huggins had assistant Larry Harrison scout Logan out. That turned into an open gym invite, which eventually led Logan Route to walk on at West Virginia. But it was hard, really hard for Logan coming in as a freshman. His basketball experience to that point was limited compared to his teammates, and it took him a while to get going. I was so behind the eight ball, like a walk on. I was like seven foot, 225. Like I'm getting pushed around, I'm slow, I can't move. So like I'm really behind everyone. Like it's freshmen are behind enough coming in, but like a freshman walk on who never played, barely played AU, like didn't really do anything basketball wise, like ahead of the game coming out of high school. So like I was so behind the eight, eight ball, like every day. Like, I would barely get in practice. It would, I mean, it was kind of hard, but like, eventually all my teammates, they saw how hard I worked and like how much I wanted to be there. They all pushed me, believed in me, whatever, and just treated me like a scholarship player. So like, eventually when I did get a scholarship, it felt like, it didn't really feel like, I mean, it was cool to like be on scholarship, but I always felt like I was that person, you know, just by the way my teammates and coaches treated me. Logan actually had an academic scholarship locked up, which is why he went the walk-on route, no pun intended. Coach Huggins told him he had earned an athletic scholarship, but Logan told Coach to give it to someone else and that he's already set. You don't see that kind of unselfish behavior very often. It takes a different type of person to put we before me. Hard to understand if you've never been to West Virginia. I mean, it really is. I mean, West Virginia people are the greatest people in the world. And, and you know, we've got, we've got people who, you know, save their money all year to buy tickets so they can come watch these guys play. We're the professional team. I mean, we are what everybody watches. I grew up in Ohio. I mean, we had the Browns, we had the Bengals, we had the Reds, we had the Indians, we had all that stuff, you know. And we don't have that. We have West Virginia Mountaineers. Since arriving on campus in 2017, Logan has finished up his undergraduate degree and has finished up his master's degree in business administration. He's a hardworking kid both on and off the court and embodies everything it means to be a West Virginia Mountaineer. Thanks for watching everybody. WVU takes on Oklahoma this Saturday afternoon, 3 p.m. Central Time on ESPN2. And we'll see you next time for more Around the Rim.